Okay, we're going for the Space Chem Polar Expedition Achievement. And the easy way to do this is to download the save file from steamchieves.com. So here's the spacechem.rar that we downloaded. We'll need to extract it. And as you see, we get a save folder out of it. Now, here's the tricky part. We need to find where Space Chem stores its save games. And uh, that's going to be in your C colon uh, users folder. But the thing is, uh, you need to have show hidden files, folders, and drives on in Explorer. Uh, the way you get here is going to be slightly different in XP if you're using that, but in Vista and and 7 uh, you have to turn it on from Organize and Folder Options. And now that we can see all the folders, we need to go to App Data and then we will go to uh, local and go all the way down. We're looking for Zactronics Industries, which will be near the bottom. Inside Zactronics Industries, there's Space Chem and, of course, the save folder. Now let's cop make a copy of our save folder to back it up and then move this save folder into Space Chem. Say yes, we want to merge it and yes, we want to move and replace it. Now once that's done, uh, we just need to launch Space Chem from Steam. Okay, now that we have launched Space Chem from Steam, um, we're going to want to start the game. And we want to go to the second world and uh, for the fifth uh, level of the second world down here. Oh, there's something in the fish cave here. Now the solution should be already started, uh, so let's just play it, uh, in fact we play it at the high speed, and there we go, our assignment should be complete. Now uh, achievement may or may not uh, pop up for you, but just make sure to check and it should be there. You should get it simply by uh, replaying that level. Thanks for watching.